come make a coffee with me while I tell you about my first job. So fun fact, I love sports, specifically hockey and the NFL. So my first job was actually as a sports journalist. So I grew up playing hockey my whole entire life. And when I was 17 and I got hurt, I am told I could never play hockey again. I was absolutely devastated, but I was determined to figure out a way to stay involved with the sport that I loved. Like any teenager, I had opinions and I wanted people to take me and my opinion seriously. So I started my very own hockey blog. This was long before the days of video, although I did try to be a hockey YouTuber as well at one point in time, but my blog was where I found the most success in the industry. I started my blog and in order to get more viewers interested in my content, I started posting on Twitter and actually got picked up by some larger publications who eventually brought me on full time, including the hockey writers, uh, the fourth period, a couple independent magazines, and a site called Fansided, which got bought out by Sports Illustrated, and a couple of my really, really big articles actually got featured on the Sports Illustrated website, which was super cool. As a result of working for all these pretty large media outlets, I was credentialed to cover the Buffalo Sabres, the Toronto Maple Leafs, and just wrote articles on other general NHL stuff. I absolutely fell in love with sports writing, was actually making pretty decent money while doing it, and got accepted into Ryerson University here in Toronto for sports journalism. I absolutely thought it would be what I would be doing for the rest of my life. I did that for a period of about six years, absolutely had a blast, but did kind of get burnt out and didn't really see a lot of career paths in the future. It was either go work for a team or try to go work in the television industry somewhere and just didn't really want to go pursue that. But yeah, getting paid to write about hockey games, getting paid to go to hockey games was definitely one of the coolest experiences of my life and I'm glad I did it. So if you want to start something, don't let anyone tell you you can't.